Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always trying to find you the biggest bang for your dollar. So today we're having a two for one review. That's right, today we're gonna review two items in this one video. These are two items that are closely related and work well together. So I thought I would share them both with you today. First, we'll look at this three-in-one wire stripper crimper cutter and see how well it performs. Then we'll look at this clamp meter and multimeter all in one and see how it performs. So if you're into electrical testing and electrical projects, I'm sure you'll be all charged up after watching this video. So let's take a look at these guys and see how they perform. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Let's take a look at one at a time. We'll start off with this one and then we'll move on to this one. Alright guys, so let's start off with this unit first. Now this is the Kiwi 3-in-1 wire stripper, crimper, and cutter. Available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $16.99. The dimensions on this unit are 8 inches in length, 4 inches down here at the bottom, 1.5 up here at the top, and 1 and a quarter in thickness. Now this unit has adjustable stripping strength and stripping length. So you can adjust how far you cut and how strong it is depending on the gauge of wire that you're using. It has TPR grips for comfort and it will strip wires anywhere from 10 to 24 gauge and it will crimp wire anywhere from 10 to 22 gauge. So let's use it for a little bit of cutting, stripping and all that kind of good stuff and see how it performs. All right guys, so let's take a little closer look at this wire crimper, scrimper, and cutter and let's see all the different things that it can do. Let me give you a little closer look at it. And as you can see, here is uh, the uh, crimping area right here. There's the cutter for cutting off. And there you have the head up here for all the stripping of the wiring and so forth. And up here, as you can see, this part right here, this is an adjustable knob right here for adjusting the limiter right here for getting repeated cuts all the time so you get the same size every time. The way that works is you press this down here and then you can slide this area in and out as much as you want it to. That way you control how far out the wire is cut. So it's a limiter when you put the wire in here, it'll stop right there and you get the same cut every time. Now, if you don't wanna use that, all you do is flip it down it's out of your way and you don't need to worry about it. You can let the wire run as far out as you want it to run. This button right here, as you see a plus and minus on it right there, because that controls the strength of the heads when they come down because you don't want them to clamp down too hard and cut too deep into the wire. So you can select the strength of how far and how deep it cuts. You adjust that based on the gauge of the wire that you're cutting into. As you can see, they go down there, they grab it and they pull it apart and then you can control exactly how hard it does that. So let's uh, try a few different gauges of wire and see how it performs. All right guys, so I got some 18 gauge that I have right here, the blue wire, got some 16 gauge right there, and I have some 12 gauge off camera that I'm gonna pull in in just a moment. So let's do a little stripping of this guy, see how it performs, put it right there in the clamps, and as you see, no trouble whatsoever, stripped it off, no trouble at all. Do a little further in, right there very easy to do you want to do it in the middle of a wire somewhere let's do that right there and there you go right there you know how hard it would be to do that by hand if you had to do it in the middle of a wire so this guy does it very very easy let's try the 16 gauge right there see how this guy performs and as far as cutting you just put it in the cutter right there and there you go cutting it very easy to do cut it again very easy to do Cuts through it like a knife through butter. No trouble whatsoever. Let's straighten this guy out a little bit. Put it right up here. And that way you guys can see better. There you go. No trouble at all. Do another one. There you go. No trouble whatsoever. Cuts into it without any problem at all. Let me get the 12 gauge. All right, here we have a 12 gauge right there. Let's cut into this puppy, see how it strips it down. And let's see, I wanted to strip this down to use it, and there you go, bam, no trouble whatsoever. Very nice. All right, so let's say we wanted to use this guy as a crimping tool. So I already cleaned up this end right here, and we're gonna put this little end connector on it. So let's slide that right into the wire right there. And let's see, right there, slide that in there, we're ready to go. So you get your crimping tool, get it down here somewhere where you wanna crimp it up. And all you do is get it in there. 
and there you go that's your crimping right there and the connector is nice and tight on there easy to do and your crimping tool is all set so there you go you're ready to go all right guys so let's take a look at this guy right now so this is the kweets digital ac dc clamp meter multimeter all in one available on amazon link in description below at the time of making this video this unit retails for 47.99 so what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the meter itself, you get a couple of test leads, you get a couple of batteries to power it up, you get a thermal couple connector, you get a nice bag to keep it all in, and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. Now the dimensions on this unit are 7.5 inches by 2.8 by 1.3, and the clamp opens up to one inch. Now the warranty on this unit is three years. Now this is a true RMS clamp meter. You can use it to measure AC-DC current, AC-DC voltage, frequency or duty cycle, resistance, capacitance, and it also checks diodes, continuity, and temperature testing. It has a low Z and LPF. The low input impedance helps to prevent false readings from ghost voltage, and the LPF or low passive filter is for accurate measurement of variable frequency signals when testing motors or transformers. It has an NCV or non-contact voltage testing and it has the multifunction two-color backlit LED display screen. The screen turns red when the reading is over 80 volts or 3 amps to warn of dangerous high voltage. It has a built-in LED flashlight and I'll show you all this in just a moment. And it has a thermocouple for temperature sensing for liquids or AC ports. And it can check in both centigrade or Fahrenheit. It has an auto off function after 15 minutes of standby. It'll turn itself off to conserve the battery. So this clamp meter is great as a multimeter clamp meter. is great for household usage, for electrical testing and repair, industrial work, automotive work, HVAC, diagnosing, finding faulty electrical components, or just about anything dealing with electrical voltage or amperage in either AC or DC applications. So let's take a little closer look at this unit and see all the features that it has. All right, guys, let's take a little closer look at this item and see all the different features that it has. As you see, I turned it on. I put in the batteries. Very easy to do. All you do is open up this little door back here, a little screw right there, pop in the batteries. You're good to go. And as you see, let's look at all the different things that it has. As far as the clamp goes, like I said, the clamp opens up to one inch and you have this little control on the side. Push that in right there and you open it up. Very easy to do when you want to use it as a clamp meter. You see the uh, LED screen down here, and to turn on and go through all the different functions, you just adjust this knob right here, and it's very easy. You can either select it by moving it this way, or you have a convenient little rotation here on the side that you can rotate through all the different functions. And as far as the functions go, you have right there, very legible, easy to see. You have amperage, voltage, hertz, and then you have your diode resistance, all those kind of functions, temperature, low Z, all that. Select which one it is that you want to use. Down here, you have right here to zero it or to select the temperature when you're doing temperature reading. Here you have the light where you can either turn on the backlight on the screen right here, or if you hold it, you turn on the flashlight up here. As you can see, it lights up your work area, whatever it is that you're working on. Press it again, hold it, and you turn it off. And then right here on the side, this button is for your non-contact testing. You press that and hold it, and then it goes to NCU, and press it again and hold it and it goes back to normal so that's very convenient right there there you have your min max setting right there so you can select it and hold whatever it is your reading is and down here is where you put in the test leads there you have right there the common and the input all right there so very convenient very compact everything all set up very easy to understand so let's do a little bit of testing with it. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of testing with this meter and see how it performs and what it can do. Now, I'm not going to do all the testing of all the different functions that this guy has because I could literally spend the next hour just running through all the different tests that it has. If you know anything about electronics, you know everything this guy can do. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of a few things that it can do. But this guy has a lot of potential and a lot of things that it can do. And anyway, right now, I have a live strip right here. Let's do a little bit of voltage testing. So we turn it over to voltage and then we set it to AC 
and there you go, and use the test leads to test it. And by the way, if I didn't mention before, the test leads are three feet long, so that's how long they are. So we pop these guys into here, and there you go. It goes to 121 volts, which is what North American current is. And it turns to red, indicating that it's dangerous. So there you go. Voltage testing, no trouble whatsoever. Now let's do a little bit of something else. All right, so here I have an extension cord that I just plugged in, so it has current running through it. Let's do a little bit of uh, non-contact voltage testing. So we switch it over to NCU, and we put it right next to the line here, and you see this is the cold line. This has no voltage running through it. If I flip it over, as you see, then there's the hot one right there. So you have three running through there because it has a ground in the middle. So this one is hot. Flip it over. There you go. That one is not hot. So that tells you right there, very accurate, very easy to read all the different things this guy can do. So there you go. All right, let's test the amperage. All right, guys, here we have the clamp meter and I have hooked it up right there. That's the positive lead to the battery going to my fuse panel right here. So this is the fuse panel of my car and that's the battery over that way. So I have the clamp meter set up around that right there. And as you can see, a little bit of current is being drawn through it there because some of the modules and computers and stuff are turned on. They're not fully asleep, they're running right now. But I'm gonna turn on the car right now and you're gonna see a big difference in the DC current running through there right now. So it's set to amperage and we'll see exactly how that goes right now. And there you see a big change in the current going through there right now and you see that it turns to red because it is much higher. So there you have the amperage reading of the meter. Alright guys, there you have it, a review and testing of two very convenient and affordable electrical tools. An affordable wire stripper, crimper, and cutter, which is a must-have if you're doing any kind of electrical repair, and a multifunction clamp meter. If you don't want to buy a separate amp meter and multimeter, you should really look at this guy. You get multiple functions in one compact and affordable meter. You can check both AC and DC current and amperage, plus many more functions in this one device. I think these are both very good and very useful tools for both DIYers and professional. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.